views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, it's great to be back. I'm Dr. Jen, and today... It's all about the month of August coming up because once a month we always do the angel guidance and messages for the coming month, for the one that's coming up. So here we are, July 30, doing this one. And in a couple of days, we have August coming around. And boy, have we had quite the July with energy. And we have five retrogrades, you know, and um, look it up because that's a whole different topic in astrology. But, you know, It's interesting. I've been following that a little bit because in January I did a quick overview of every single month with the angel guidance for the entire year, something I do every year, uh, for all of 2015. And it is follow. I didn't know, you know, I didn't look that far ahead on some of that alignment with those energies. It's falling right in line. To me, that's amazing and it validates that I was picking it up clearly and for me personally. So I deliver what I receive and, you know, you're going to take what works for you and some of it may, some of it may not. You may not find that you're relating to some of it, but some of it you will. I mean, everybody's different. The thing here is the biggest, uh, if I had to, if I had to put uh, August into one word from everything that I have that's come in for this show, it would be flexible, (laughs) flexibility. But this is a good thing, really. And I bring up the retrogrades, and I have been bringing up what's been going on with that because it is affecting us. And then tomorrow on July 31st, we have a blue moon, which the moon is not going to be blue, but it means we have two in the same month. That's a lot of full moon energy in one month not to mention everything else going on. So with the retrogrades, now just to remind everybody, uh, every planet has a different focus with energy. So learning what that planet is about helps you understand what that retrograde is doing for you. Like I said, go look that up. But I would that would be a, a year of shows, but that's not my specialty. Mine is bringing you the angel guidance for that. And I love it because it shows and validates to me. They prove themselves to me. And I feel very humbled. It's like, okay, this is what I'm getting. And then that side of me that, you know, believe it or not, you have all that skeptic inside of you when you do this. People don't think we are, but we're very skeptical. You know, we want to know if we're accurate or not as well. And it just, it pops right up and shows me. So I'm a bit excited about that because I know wholeheartedly I'm giving you as clear of a channel as I can possibly be. And that I know is the right way to approach this. Now, Archangel Michael came in very strong for the month of August. Okay. He did come in strong for the month of August. And after July, going into those retrogrades, we're reflecting back in different areas of life. And some of them are quite challenging. We've had the emotions thrown in with two full moons and different planetary alignments there. This is all in a very positive way can help you. For some of you that are feeling like, are you kidding me? This is challenging the heck out of me. 
you know, is it ever going to stop? I feel like I'm getting hit from one wave right after the next and you can't come up for air. It can feel overwhelming if if you have a lot that it's bringing to your attention. Let me put it that way. And it's going to bring to your attention what you need to work on. Michael comes in because he wants you to know I'm here with you. I can, I'm going to help you stay strong. You can do this. However, we are not going to find the answers outside of ourselves. This is really bringing us to a place where we have to turn inward. We can't avoid turning inward and learning how to trust what, what we receive and pick up. It, I see it. I see it kind of funneling us into that, whether we want to be or not. Uh, that was the strongest thing that I saw was whether you want to turn inward or not, uh, you're going to have some experience where you need to do that. And it can be a very positive experience. It, it can challenge you if you resist it. But this is a time to uh, learn who you are. I, and I've been saying that for a couple of months because that seems to be a focus for the year. But you can do it safely. You can learn to trust. And when I give intuitive readings, which you're always welcome to call in to the show during this hour, uh, 1-800-930-2819. When I am doing that, I am helping you with your energy, but not to tell you what to do. Okay, because I'm trying to help everyone know that they want to trust their own intuition. More than likely, if there's something of a focus going on for you, it can help clarify that message to you. And it will bring the information you need in that moment. And I'm just a messenger for that. So I will ask and they will give me what they want you to know. And there you go. Um, it's interesting because I've had people go, well, can't you just tell me what to do? No, that feels, that is not my, that's not my calling. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be helping you learn how to trust yourself. That is one of the main focuses of my work is to help you feel comfortable within yourself and know that self-discovery and know that you have a powerful, powerful connection that can help you and you can be uh, contributing and be an amazing outcome here. So when we come back, we're going to be coming back here. We're going to take a short break here in just about a minute. So if you are calling in, we see you there uh, and we will bring on a caller when we come back in. But one of the things that you want to just learn to accept here is who you are and, and, and know that you have ups and downs and you have a cranky mood one day you may, you know, you, you, you're not going to be this, you know, positive picture, perfect, you know, everything every day. It's, it's learning how to roll with all of that. So I'm going to help you with that during this show. And if you do want to call in again, the number is 1-800-930-2819. We're talking about insightful dreams, which I will bring up when we come back as well, and angel guidance and messages for the month coming up in August of 2015. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back after the break. Traditional talk, people pontificating about this or that, the left or the right. Sometimes the truth is just all lost in the noise. Tune in each week to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher on TransformationTalkRadio.com, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, as nationally known guests talk about what's important to you, your life, your concerns, and your success. Tune in and turn on to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher. Visit ChuckGallagher.com for more information. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready, because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. 
Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. My dream is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basili is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at ronniedeluceonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. If you are just tuning in with us, our topic today is insightful dreams and angel guidance messages for August of 2015. So I've been delivering those and we have a couple of callers in the queue and I'm going to get right to you. Just hang on one minute. Quickly, I want to address that there are going to be interesting dreaming okay we have all these full moons and you know a lot of people will dream more during that full moon what one of the strongest messages that michael brought through for august is pay attention to those dreams feelings and emotions there's answers within that that you're looking for i want to make sure i say that one of the things he wanted me to make sure i said before we even start with the callers so on that note let's bring on our first caller we have Let's see, Brian, we have Rose from New York. Let's bring Rose on. And you're live on the air with Jen. What's your question? Hi, um, I had a question in regards to moving. Okay, to moving. Um, Yeah, I just want to clarify a little bit. Um, I know that I am supposed to move, and I would prefer to leave the area about late fall. But my problem is, is that, I don't, I think my house has a mold problem and I don't know if I need to move again until I move permanently Yo. or if I should just okay, a mold move problem earlier is... out of the area. Yeah. You have quite a bit or coming even your if way. It's... it's going to get very busy for you. Does it feel like that? Yes. Yeah, yes. it does. The health issue as far as, you know, living in the home with mold, that is something to take um, as a self-care and priority. Okay, but what what I picked up for you before you came on the air, because I saw you and then I do that before you even come on, is you have a lot of assistance coming your way and 
open to receive and don't be afraid that it won't be there. That was the biggest thing. Um, mm -hmm. I got a lot of positive for you in all of this. Yes, there's a big career or something, opportunity. I mean, there, the move is something. Yeah. yeah, I picked up that you were changing gears on the career. Does that make sense? I, I am changing gears, yeah. Okay, okay, that's what I picked up, which is why the move, I'm assuming. Um, so here's I the could. thing. It's all okay. going to work out positively for you because you're, in a, you're moving and your changes are aligning with where you need to be in this moment of your life and soul journey. Mm -hmm. So when I say that, that means that everything with the situation about whether you should move before you move, you know, with the situation of the house, you may, that does sound like that might be a temporary thing. Uh, it sounds like that might be something that you may need to um, put the, put your belongings into something that can just simply move one more time. A lot of people do that, uh, what, that pod thing or something. They just put everything in there. The mold, yes, that, that has to be addressed because that is a self-care and a self-love. And I feel that's how they're um, bringing that to me very, very strongly. Michael comes through really strong, and he keeps showing me um, kind of like a um, – it's almost like protect, 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 because you have so many incredible things coming your way. He keeps showing me like an abundance of a lot of great things that are coming and changing for you. But it's so important that you make a choice that's going to be self-care and take care of you positively. Don't put yourself on the back burner right now. So it might mean putting it in a, a, a temporary storage and, you know, a short temporary stay somewhere to make sure the mold is taken care of. Obviously, that is a health concern. You would want to take care of that. Um, but he was saying it was because you need to show that you have self-care and self-love. And that self-care and self-love is going to also be coming back to you tenfold right behind it with all of these changes coming up for you. Is that making sense? And I'm hoping that that clarifies that question. It is, but I, I just had two kind of little questions around that with the move. Um, like one is that I, I do I could move in with my boss. I just don't know if that's a good idea for a couple months. Um, she's redoing the, a room, so it should be pretty clear of mold. But I'm afraid if I leave this house, that I am going to be missing out on a love opportunity that's opening up. Mm. So yeah, okay. And it goes right back to that same answer. He's saying you you don't want to have fear in any of this right now. You don't want to have fear in any okay. of it. Now, they're not going to tell you to move in or stay or move out or stay. They're not. The angels won't tell you what to do. They're telling you the focus needs to be a priority needs to be on a self-love. And then love will come back to you in all ways, financially, mm -hmm. romance. It comes back to you in many different areas of life, relationships, you know, you being taken care of and provided in a happy life. So they keep bringing me back to the self-care, self-love. And a fear would be a lower frequency that would hold you stagnant and stuck. So we don't right, want to be right. in a fear, you see. So being afraid that you might lose something is the insecurity popping up showing you, well, why would I feel That's like true. that? If it's that weak, do I really want that? Uh, and these are just questions that are coming up to ask yourself. So, yeah, it's pretty much he's bringing it back to the same thing. Make the choice on moving out sooner or not based on self-care, self-love, on nothing else but that. That's the, that's the there right is. there. But I can't keep taking, like, a lot of questions on a radio show. I'm sorry. I run out of time. But, it, you know, Absolutely. that's what he's yeah, doing. He's so bringing it to help. that, like. Make your choices on that, not on based on anybody else. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. But they won't tell you what to do because that would be manipulating you. And you don't want to be manipulated. Right. And you don't want someone else to manipulate you. You, want, you don't want to feel like your choices are based on what somebody else may or may not do. Think about it right. that way. Because this energy that we're in right now, and that's a very good example of what we're talking about for August is looking at things in all these different perspectives 
and looking at it from a place where, wait a minute, you know, maybe I wasn't seeing it clearly before because it's flipping it all upside down and we're looking at everything a different way while we reflect. So you're doing a lot of reflection too with your choices, but you have an incredible opportunity coming up. And so, yeah, keep it, keep it on, keep it within you right now for that. I'm not saying you're not going to have any relationships. It's just more, it can't be based on what somebody else might do. That's what he's saying. Right. To me. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. It does. That, Thank you. Yeah. So much for your help. <laughs> yeah. They're going to, yeah, this is this, you are, you know, your question was great for the topic today and thank you for calling in because it does feel like, gosh, I feel like I don't know which way to go. And that's happening everywhere across the board for a lot of people because you're, it's forcing us to go within and trust what we feel is the right thing to do. It's, I don't want to say force, but it is. It's kind of cornering us, this retrograde thing and all of the energy coming through. And that's what we're being, that's what we're dealing with with this coming month, the next few weeks. So you're right in the pocket. And the outcome is this incredible life waiting for you. If you keep it, go inward and know what's right for you inside. And that's your answer right there. What, it fe what feels right to you. And that's it right there, Rose. Right. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, wow. Boy, was that, that was a, that was an incredible, she's in an incredible situation. There is so many positives coming through for her. And honestly, that is what I saw. And it's interesting that she called in today because when I was going through the entire outline for the show today, it was saying that in general for all of us, where no, 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 you have to go in, you have to turn in, you have to do that self discovery, you have to meditate, you have to know that you can reevaluate a situation, uh, things like that, listening to those dreams, listening to those emotions, watch out for the fear monger, though, watch out for that one, because fear just causes everything to stop. And then instead of a uh, flowing it reminds me of water instead of flowing water which is fresh and clean it's a stagnant water which that's not so good so fear will make you just not choose and if you did choose out of fear don't choose anything out of fear let me put it that way and that's for every all of us you don't want to choose based on fear because now your 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 outcome is going to have a low frequency already attached to it and, and we are in a time where we're going to feel out of our comfort zone a lot. You're going to feel like you're being pushed to do a lot of things very, very quickly. And you're going to feel like, well, what's this challenge? Like for Rose, it was that mold in the house. Now I've got to make a choice. That challenge is teaching her something. And that challenge is a great example for all of us that, wow, okay, now I'm in this situation where I've got to. I got to make a decision here and I got to let go and work about fear of the outcome. And they're saying, you know, we've got all this waiting for you. We've got this great, this great, incredible life waiting for you, but you have to, you have to go inward. And this really does apply to all of us. I've been having to do this as well. And I could not believe it because I thought, oh, wow, this is just an amazing experience. And, um, I just recently, and we're getting ready to go to break, and then I will bring the next caller on when we come back. So hang in there. We have, we have an opportunity every morning when you wake up to choose for that day to be the best day ever. And, you know, we've heard that before, but now's the time to really apply that. You'd be surprised how quickly the energy of your day will shift. And even if it's a tough, challenging day, how much better that day will end up at the end of the day. With that note, think about that. Think about what you could say right now for your day to make it go in a fantastic way. Now, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll bring another caller on. Our topic today is insightful dreams and angel guidance and messages for the upcoming month of August 2015. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We will be right back. I 
of a traveling show My mama used to dance for the money they'd throw Mama would do whatever he could Preach a little gospel Sell a couple bottles of Dr. Good Disease, one of the most dreaded words in our vocabulary Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack Did you know traditionally we have viewed disease as a degenerative process? Disease is better understood when we view it as disease in the human body. Disease means without ease. Health is not merely the absence of disease. It's when every part of the body works together effortlessly, relaxed and at ease. It's that relaxed state that lets energy flow in waves through and around the entire body. Every organ has an electrical charge. And when overcharged or undercharged, dis-ease occurs. And it is an effort to go through our day. We are able to determine the exact dis-ease of the body and design a specific solution to correct the nutritional imbalance. Contact us at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. And visit us at maryjanemack.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Fontaine with Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio, and here's your tip of the day. Standing in your power should be the greatest thing in the world. Why isn't it? When I ask you to bring an intention you have up before you, something so true and important to you, and you begin to shift toward it, you suddenly realize you're opening your heart and energy in a direction and turning your back on something else. They can be past choices, people, and circumstances you've tolerated for a very long time. In that moment, you do realize how truly powerful you are and that you can do this. But you also realize you might risk something you're not certain you're ready to let go of. Let's give ourselves the gift of our own power. Let's learn to not be afraid of it. Join me on my new show, Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine. And visit me at lesliefontaine.com or call 678-665-3366. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving. Even in the face of adversity, say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. Are you feeling broken from your relationships? Are you second-guessing yourself about friends, family, and lovers? Tune in to the hit show that's creating a buzz in the love-seeking community. Love Seeker Radio, finding love for your authentic self with renowned love coach Heather Lynn. Tired of dissatisfying relationships? Kiss them goodbye and power up your love seeker energy. Coach Heather Lynn reminds you that you can just be you, the beautiful and perfect you. Visit heatherlynncoaching.com to learn more. Clairvoyance, a gift few have, and even fewer match the powers of one of America's best. Dr. Linda Salvin. Dr. Linda's uncanny ability drills to the core of your issues to bring you quick and accurate answers and predictions. In more than two decades, Dr. Linda has helped over 75,000 people on national radio, by phone, in person. When you need answers, Dr. Linda makes it clear. Book your time with this legendary seer now. Click on lindasalvin.com or call 888-509-1077. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com.
And we are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. And our topic today is insightful dreams and angel messages and guidance for the upcoming month of August 2015. Now, when I say dreams, there's going to be information coming to some of you. Not everybody feels that they get that like that. But if you seem to be very active in your dreams, you really want to pay attention to them and write them down. Look for the nuances and the metaphor in that. Uh, your emotions, that, that feeling, you know, that strong repetitive feeling is very important. And Michael is very specific about the answers that you seek are in the feelings and emotions and dreams. The dreams need to be paid attention to. August is about turning inward, really reflecting inside to what you feel inside. And it may not, it may not. Uh, sync with anybody else out there. You may feel like you're the only one that thinks that way. And it's going to challenge you probably more than anybody to trust it because you have to trust what's coming from within you. And this is a time that we will all benefit after the challenging feeling in the dark to trust what we're feeling. Now on that note, let's bring on the next caller, Brian. We have Dora from Michigan. Hello. Hi, Dora. Oh, hey, how you doing? Good, good to talk to you. So what have you got going on? Well, um, I had a dream, and I actually brought it in when I woke up. And uh, what I woke up seeing was a gentleman, and he looked like he was Buddhist. He was literally had his he was wearing gold and white draped around him, and he was sitting like um, almost like a lotus position kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And he had his hands cupped like healing, I almost felt like either was either showing me how to do something or actually maybe helping me, one or the other. But I didn't know which. I almost feel like he was showing me. But I was wondering what your intake might be on that as well. Okay. Uh, that's an awesome dream for you. That, that I love that. Now, I was writing my notes while you were describing that dream. First of all, mm-hmm. if we were... To, and you let me know if that clicks because you're the one that's going to know if that resonates with you, okay? But this is mm-hmm. what I was picking up. Well, first of all, Buddha was about compassion, okay? Compassion for mm-hmm. the self is what I'm feeling for you. Um, also, you have a lot of compassion for a lot of things, but are you having enough for yourself? The meditation was very obvious. Dora, are you meditating? Are you doing it regularly, even if it's five minutes mm, a day? I have a, I have a hard time with it. I think me and you discussed that before. Uh, I just for some right. reason, yeah. I'll, med- I'll back, do a meditation. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, let it, me it's show an you issue something. for me. Okay, I don't now. know if it's because I'm wiped out at the end of the day that I literally will start into it, and then next thing you know, I'm falling asleep. It's like, oh, my God. Uh, you, you know, know what? I feel like I'm not. This, yeah, and so here we go with the perspectives because Archangel Gabriel comes right in. You need to do it the opposite time of the day. Early in the morning. Like if when you first get up, if when you first awaken, even if it's before you actually get out of bed, five mm. minutes. Gotcha. Mind. I, I, you know, five. it's funny when you said that. You know who I'm thinking? I'm Deepak Chopra. Always says he he um, meditates two hours from four o'clock in the morning. Till yeah. Seven. Well, I do. And in I'm the thinking, morning. dude, I can't do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, oh no, God. you don't need to do two hours. I mean, I have a couple of hours that I'll do, but I don't always have that every day. But I love having that. But all you really need is five to 15 minutes. You don't need to sit for hours and hours and hours. And you could even okay. start by lightening up on yourself. But I, I'm really recommending if you're trying to do it in the evening, your mind is full mm-hmm. of the day and the energy of all of the things that are, are in the day. Right. Your mind is still in a state of boom, 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 go, 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 go. What's on the list for tomorrow? When you right. uh, first awaken in the morning, before you even, I would start this way for you. I really would. I wouldn't even get up yet. When you first wake up, you know, usually we're laying there at least five feet five, ten minutes before we actually pop right, right in. Right, just struggling, deciding when I'm going to move. <laughs> That's the perfect time for you. When you're in that half sleep, half slumber, that's the perfect meditative time for you. Gotcha. Uh, it yeah, really I is. Five minutes like, is all well, you need to start with. And just mm-hmm. 
allow yourself to have that before the rest of the day is tugging at you. It's a very mm -hmm. good time for you because when we're coming out of sleep, you know, a lot of times our, uh, we have a lot of dream activity in that wee hour of the morning mm -hmm. right before we're going to wake up. Or it's that time where you have those dreams or you wake up and then you fall back asleep and you seem to go right back into the dream or keep going. Uh, right. That is a meditative state of mind. Right, right. Uh, I'm yeah, suggesting... I noticed two real big things that have happened to me where I've woken up and brought it. I mean, literally, as I'm waking up, I'm still seeing it. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing him. Yep. Yeah, you've been doing your homework. Kudos, girl. You've been working I mean, on this, and so it's starting to, you know, resonate in your act. What it's interesting is when you are bringing it with you, you say into your wake state, you're not yeah. disconnecting from your spiritual sight. You're keeping it versus go, you know, right. sometimes we try to see it with our physical eyes. It's going to disappear as soon as you do that. You're staying in the state of mind to connect yeah, I, with I, it. I was. So, I was literally, I had my eyes open, but literally I could still see, I could see him. He was wearing gold and white mm -hmm. draped around him. You know, yeah, like the a gold, gold and little, white are significant yeah. colors for you. The gold and white, mm -hmm. that gold is pretty advanced. And uh, the white obviously is a high, you know, uh, spiritual color. We use the white as a divine color. Mm -hmm. The gold is you know, it keeps drawing me to the metal gold. Do you have any gold? Oh, I have a, I have an asphyxiation with the color gold. No, I okay. actually do. Okay. My, my family hates it because every year for Christmas, everything is gold. I said, I can't change it. I have to have gold. I don't know why, but it's got to stay gold. That That's a color. It's an energy of that color for you. And honestly, mm -hmm. if you were to even, uh, you know, use that color when you close your eyes, visualizing gold. Uh, mm -hmm. feeling the gold, you know, just the gold is a color of higher frequency uh, for you uh, because, mm -hmm. I, you know, I that's a good one. Stay with the gold for your meditations. So it's all okay. combined. You saw this visual of Buddha. So it's like lighten up on yourself a little bit and do it at an easier time of day where it won't be so hard to start connecting. And as you start anchoring right. into that more and more and more, it's just going to make it so much easier for you to just naturally go there. I mean, for you to bring the vision all the way to the wake state and you stayed with the vision is incredible. This is the second and time that's it's happened. working. You are in, you yeah. are improving your connection, but change yeah, the, the time of time day. The first time it happened was a little different. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Oh, I well, said the first time it happened, it was different. It was, um, I felt uh, I was in a bright light, white, a light, bright light, and it came through. And I was in front of somebody, and you almost felt like you had to put your head down like you were in front of Jesus. I swear to God, that's the way it felt. And this energy of love and light went through my entire body, and I brought that when I woke up into my wake-up state. And I that's... was just cry I was crying because it was like, wow. Yeah. You know, man. It wasn't oh, anything beautiful. that you were scared of or anything. It was you, um, I guess, were in front of somebody very powerful and holy. I guess that's the best way I can describe it to you. You are feeling very high frequency, ascended. You're feeling ascended master frequencies. Do you realize okay. that that seems to be a common denominator in those both of those experiences? And you can yeah. ask okay. them to work with you. Absolutely. Okay. And they will. Okay. Because they can transcend through different frequencies and states of consciousness because they're ascended okay. masters. You know, they could do that. Yeah. So it makes sense that you would keep seeing them, too. I do but, keep, this is, yeah, two big times with that. And it's like, oh, wow. That, to me, it was amazing, of course, you know. It is amazing. And I love that you called in and you're sharing that. But your your vision, definitely um, gold white meditation. He's showing you with that. You said his hands were together in a cup form. They were cupped over, like when you try to heal somebody with Reiki. That kind of a thing. That's what it reminded me of. Like your hands, how they cup together. Yes. That's what he yes. was doing. That's what I was watching him do. Oh, I love that. And your frequency, it feels like your frequency deep within is 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 in a self-healing active mode right now. I feel like because you're healing inside, that's going, people being around your frequency will help them as well because people are going to start responding to you differently when you start to resonate with frequencies like that, mm -hmm. you know, because that's going to, when you are filled with love, you draw in love, you know, 
And so, right, right. you know, that is like your cup floweth over in love and healing is what right. I was feeling from that. And he sh yes, he's showing you, but meditation is on your list, but definitely the different time of day is going to be huge for you. I think you're going to find yeah. that you're going to have definitely even gonna go more there. <laughs> interesting that's insights. My, that's on my list for right away in the morning. <laughs> there you go. It's like now you can't go to sleep because you can't wait for in the morning. But it's my favorite time of day. I love my morning time before my day fills up. And because mm -hmm. when I'm doing something like this, my I'm filled with all the energy and what I'm picking up for everyone else. But in the right. morning, it's just me and spirit. And I'm right. getting, you know, you know, we have to nourish ourselves with that self-love and our internal connection. And then we can give that out to the world. So I don't feel like gotcha. I can start my day any other way or do this. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, we have to go to break again. My goodness. Dora, nice thank you again. so much for calling in. Take and I, I'm giving you a big kudos because you've been really working on your connection and your insights and, and they're, they're working. It's coming through. Well, I'm going to throw it out there. I've been, I took one of your classes. So if anybody's interested, oh, they should right. do the same that's as well. Right. That will help them the same way. Yeah, that's right. She was talking about the eighth chakra class that we have online at my mm -hmm. website if you want to see what she's talking about. But she's been working yeah. with that. So we mm -hmm. have to go to break. Okay. I yeah, hear you, Brian. You, I hear you. All right. Thank you, Dora. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen, and our topic today is insightful dreams and angel messages for August of 2015. We'll be right back after the break. Dr. Loves Quickies. Mary's about ready to give love the shove, because no matter what she tries, guys don't know that she's alive. To turn guys on, she needs to turn on those green lights, nonverbal cues that say, over here. Most guys won't approach unless they're cleared for landing. So ladies, to kickstart your love life, turn on those green lights and flash your pearly whites. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf of AskDrLove.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Are you feeling broken from your relationships? Are you second-guessing yourself about friends, family, and lovers? Tune in to the hit show that's creating a buzz in the love-seeking community. Love Seeker Radio, finding love for your authentic self with renowned love coach Heather Lynn. Tired of dissatisfying relationships? Kiss them goodbye and power up your love seeker energy. Coach Heather Lynn reminds you that you can just be you, the beautiful and perfect you. Visit heatherlynncoaching.com to learn more. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start willing the game of life with the unique and incomparable Lynn Brown. As an intuitive healer and experienced business manager, Lynn can help you live your life to its full potential. To learn more about Lynn, visit ruintuit.com. That's the letter R, letter U, intuit.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Would you like to be a question with anything that comes up in your body or mind? Would you like to become totally aware and begin to function as the conscious being you truly are? Join Access Certified Facilitator Glenna Rice every month for a live teleclass where you can ask all of your questions and learn to create change in any aspect of your life. Visit GlennaRice.com today to learn more and don't miss the next call. Join the questionable conversation today at GlennaRice.com. 
back for our last segment. Boy, these shows move fast. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. And it's been, you know, an interesting uh, read for the month of August because, I mean, I had all kinds of things and they lined it up for us. So just to recap here for the month of August, okay, Michael came in very strong for you want to turn inward. This is going to be the most important thing you can do. All of the challenges, the mental, the unexpected changes in your life, feeling like uh, not sure where to go, what to do. This is a time that all of this retrograde is reflecting us back in. We have to go back in and see things from a different perspective. Try on different hats you know, so to speak, try on different, like, well, what if that was this way? Or what if I looked at it this way and put yourself in different shoes and look at it from all different angles and going inward and doing that little bit of meditation like Dora and I were talking about in the last caller is going to be huge for you. If you're having trouble with it, I recommend trying what we were talking about in the la- with the last caller, Dora, is first thing in the morning before you even start moving, you know, just give yourself five minutes in that slumber and just that's when it's going to be the easiest for you and then build on it from there. Um, advice that came in that was so strong for this upcoming month is, you know, this is definitely – a meditative turning inward, listening to your own intuition, the dreams, the dreams, what's going on with those dreams. Are you having those crazy dreams? Look for the metaphor. Uh, For example, if you have a lot of water around you, that's usually for me, that's an emotion. Uh, What if you're out there with a bunch of sharks and you feel like something's going to happen to you? That would be representing the fear. It's not literal. And then You know, before you go to sleep, ask for information to come through. And because intuition and spirit angels, your guardian angel, your guides, the divine, they'll bring information to you if you ask. And dreaming, you're in a state of subconscious where it's easiest to reach you. Loved ones that have crossed over will do that as well. So, you know, allow the dreaming. Don't be afraid of dreams that seem to be intense. Nightmares really freak people out, but nightmares have very important information in them. And I want to say that they have such important information, but most of the time it is not literal. Now, repetitive, pay attention to that. If you're reliving something that's something a little bit different, that might be a trauma issue. But look at where you can go inward and start to apply and trust your own intuition and choices that are right for you inside. Don't be afraid to be who you really are. That's probably the biggest fear for a lot of people out there is what's somebody else going to think if I do this? And we're being challenged with that. A lot of us are. We're being challenged with what's everybody going to think? I know, boy, do I know what that feels like. I had to do that when I finally decided to just be doing what I'm doing on a radio show that's broadcast all over the world. I came from a place where you don't want to let people know that. Well, I've had to really bust out of that shell, so I know what that feels like. But I have to say, I may have lost a lot of uh, different relationships in my life because that was just too much for them. But at the same time, I love them more. I send them a lot of love, but I am a lot happier. And I know that if I had to do it all over again, I would. I don't regret the choices that I've made and the things that I've learned from all of my challenges, all the people I've met along the way. Uh, Look at those challenges as something that you can learn and grow and turn inward and trust that insight because you're going to have a few, you know, 
that's the way this is. The energy is moving fast with all those retrogrades. It's really going to make you look at things a lot. Then you have all these full moons. And so, you know, when you see that blue moon tomorrow, just say thank you for the energy you give me. You know, just kind of embrace that energy of that full moon and and allow allow the things that feel awkward to just be with you a little bit more than you're used to doing. Don't ignore it. Don't scuff it under the rug. Be with that energy that's a little more uncomfortable and just learn that this is a side of you that needs love too. This may be a side of someone else you know that needs love too. Because when you can do the self-love inside, you can a lot of love you can give the world. And that's what we need to be doing right now is putting a lot of love out there. So... For those that are interested in working on intuition, just since Dora mentioned it, I have a workshop that is, you know, you can start right away. It's over on my website. It's uh, right there, I believe, on the left column. You can see and check that out. It uh, takes about four to six weeks if you stayed with it, but everybody takes their time and goes at their own pace. And then I'm there if you have any questions about anything. Uh, it is a in-depth going into your intuitive connection and it's uh how that eight chakra does that so if you want to look into that uh we have free guided meditations over at my website that can help you connect in different ways those are gifts for you and the weekly newsletter that has all of the upcoming events uh shows it also has i put out the discount coupons in there for the classes and the workshops that i'm doing so if you were interested in that you might want to grab the web the the newsletter or get on the list that comes out once a week with all the information and things that I've been doing. We are going to be bringing the intuitive painting into this show in the next week or two. Uh, so I want you to know I'll be doing that during our show here. So I'm looking forward to really bringing that in because we get even more information when we do that. And as always, I want to say to you, embrace life, love the life that you have Love the challenges for what they can teach you. And, and know that there's this part of you deep inside that you're going to really enjoy getting to know if you give that, that, that beautiful person inside of you a chance. There is a lot about you that is divine. It's time to get to know that part because that's what's going to carry us through. And the focus for August is basically practicing doing that. So think about that as you go through the month of August, and I wish everyone much love on their journey and insight and clarity in making your choices for the upcoming month. Thank you for listening to the show. We will be here next week, same time. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.